What's going on, Joe fans? Mr. 1013 here again with another review. Thanks for uh, sticking around. Hope you had a happy new year. Took a little break, but now we back with the reviews. And we're going to top it off real quick with a companion package here with the G.I. Joe Classified Series figure number 113, Mutt and Junkyard. I'm going to tell you something. Um, this figure, of course, when I seen him on Hasbro Pulse's stream, I was like, hey, this is a dope figure. We're getting a deluxe package in with the companion. We get the um, plastic casing back now. Um, I was looking forward to it, but getting this figure in hand, man, they did some awesome stuff. Um, probably one of the top figures of the, of the year so far. It's just January, but <laughs> um, definitely put them in a run. We're going to get right into the uh, figure review and everything. So let's get into it. So up close already, let's remove this because um, there's definitely some stuff I want to talk about the accessories. But of course, you know, we like to get up close and personal and look at these figures, man. And um, just just look at these head sculpts as they get better and better each time around. Um, the five o'clock shadow, you can tell, you know, he shaved. He still got the, the beard, you know what I'm saying? Coming through there, the shadow, the five o'clock shadow going on. Hair is nicely matted. Um, some nice texture in there as well. We got some scraps on the face. Um, nice snarl, just like on the uh, <laughs> like on junkyard and everything. Looks really good. Got the hair on the chest coming through. Very nice paint details. Got the silver badge right there with the um, light gold star on there. We got the shotgun shells on there as well. Vest is all brown. Um, separate piece down here for the belt on the sides. We got some more hair on his arms. Um, a little dark. We seen better. You know, we seen better textures with the paint. This just looked like they just like kind of slapped it on there. Um, you can see where the palette is. It's like a fine line. It's just um, there. We seen better hair on. I think Outback, I believe, has some um, better hairy arms. But um, yeah, uh, paint apps. Like I said, looking good. We got a little bit of issues down here on the knee pads though. As you can see, some of the green is coming through um, the brown right here. So we could have got a little bit better um, on my figure in particular. On the knee pads, it's something like the issue on both sides. You can see the seam coming through. But other than that, um, we're going down to the boots. Boots are all brown. We got some nice flat black um, paint down here. Doesn't look too many issues there. Um, going back up to the gun because we didn't talk about that. We got the... Um, I like the textures on here. We got some, looks like he'd been, you know, um, playing with Junkyard and everything and having him bite on his arm. So this is dope. I, got, I like those little textures right there. Um, nice semi-gloss somewhat on there. Um, no matte, so that's cool. Uh, we can look at this side, nothing on this arm. On the back, we got a nice flat black. We got the red coming through. And actually, this red with... Um, I know we have like the yellows and the reds usually had that problem of not being too not being too clean and this kind of actually fits you can see some of the wear and tear on there so this actually kind of fits with the vest on this figure um down here we do have some details on the uh on accessory on the belt and I think we never seen that it's usually like all black but they actually have some script on what did, what does it say um do not point at face a oh, warning do not point at face so we got some text on there i uh, had to get up close and kind of read it um nice detail of well we got some nice hits of black on the holster it's not like an all brown um you know piece of equipment and i like to, again back to the brown vest so i like the touches of black and um for the zippers and the buckles on there as well so just gives some separation i had like an all brown vest but other than that man this is a very solid looking figure a very um pleased with the head sculpt on this guy um articulation is probably standard head full 360 up and down got a neck hinge got butterflies arms go up got the bicep twist right there um double jointed elbows and do we have we have articulation here is this a loose piece as well this is actually a loose piece so you i think you could take this off so I thought this was all a part of the glove, but this actually is a loose piece, it looks like. And we could probably put it on the other arm as well. Uh, hands does have hinges on them. And there's a twist at the wrist. A um, little bit of a back and forth on the ab crunch. Not too much. I mean, kind of hindered, of course, by the vest right there. Um, drop down hinges on the legs. Thigh twist. Double jointed knees. And we do got a little bit of 
he been warm now. A little bit of um, stiffness right there, but um, pretty good. You just work with it. Um, boot cut, ankle rockers, and pivots. So, again, very solid figure, man. Um, very pleased with it, especially like the head sculpt and everything. Let's get into junkyard. So, two head sculpts. We got the, the main mug ready for action. And let's talk about this, man, because this is what I'm talking about. With these kind of prices... For deluxe figure or companion figure I mean just look at the paint job the paint job is incredible on the dog man you have the nice blends of black to brown on there um, you got the pink around the gums of the dog um, just the black you know the black line around the, the lip of the dog as well the eyes look really good the touches of brown right there um, just like again you could tell it's a little bit of paint splatter like uh, it didn't blend real good a um, couple dots, a couple hot, uh, hot spots of paint right there. But the blend, again, is just looking really good on here. Down to the paws, man. Um, this is this is a great piece. <laughs> this is a great companion piece. Uh, we got the vest on there. Again, two-tone vest. They gave him... Uh, let's get into articulation because he has some articulation. So head does a full 360 and it pops off pretty easy so there you have that so we're gonna pop that on and the collar comes off as you can see it's kind of removable and since we got that head sculpted off we just pop the new one on there that way there you go there's more friendly uh junkyard <laughs> um, articulation again um we got the legs is going out right there you got a bend at the uh at the knee there we go you got a bend at the back knee you got a bend right there um, the paws have articulation as well and that goes the same for the front front legs now I believe the wolves had the same type of articulation as well so they do really good on these companion um, the pets so very nice very nice piece um, let's get to accessories so mutt comes with a whole bunch of different accessories I'm gonna show you one set of hands because the other hands match their duplicates so let me see, I just want to make sure they are duplicates. Uh, maybe not. So we got a few pairs of hands. So we got one hand here, a balled up fist. The other hand, we got it pointing. There we go. An uh, open hand here. Another hand was kind of, it's not close, kind of semi-close right there, kind of like this. Might be a dog sign there, but we had that. Um, I believe we already looked at the wide open hand here. And I believe that is it for the hands, and we had this one as well. He also comes with a tonfa, or baton. He comes with a few sets of goggles. He has the goggles right here that fit um, just on his face. And then you have the wider goggles that sit on top of his helmet here. Then we have a knife. He has an M16. And this came in the plastic, as you can see. And you can see it's kind of warped here. So we definitely got to work with that a little bit, but I'm glad we got a little touch of green on there as well. Then he has this nice face mask right here with some nice paint apps. Um, pretty clean, uh, black, red hits, green center. And then he has a helmet, man, and this is this is small things again. <laughs> this helmet is is just not like a solid color. It has like some actual kind of rust dusty kind of worn feel to it and this looks great i really like this helmet but no really great job on this as well so overall just like a super solid figure for deluxe price we'll take a look at the box art again um now give me now share in the comments now we've got the the plastic back right was it me i'm sorry hold on he has his pistol as well but was it me or was it kind of annoying trying to get some of the accessories out of the plastic versus it being in the those paper bags? 
You guys let me know. <laughs> it was annoying trying to get like these hand sculpts out of there and trying to pop them out of the plastic while trying to keep it intact. It was crazy. I mean, I guess if you're not really trying to keep it, then just go for it, tear it up. But I was trying to be as neat as possible trying to get it out of there. But anywho, let's take a look at the box art right here. We get a nice shot of Mun Junkyard right there. Very clean. Very nice um, artwork of the dog there. And I mean, just overall, very nice. Um, to the side, we get 113. We get the QR code. We get the icons down there. On the back, this is where we get the diorama. Now, this is a very dope shot here. The colors are popping on the box, on the back of the box art. And um, this was how, what I was kind of hoping we would get the diorama on the back. Um, again, I wish we still got a file card in there. But anyway, very nice shot right here. To the side, we get an up close head shot of. Um, Mutt, you get the, the badge and the shotgun shells, which he doesn't have a shotgun, so that's another thing right there. Then we get the um, shot of Junkyard down there um, with the happier face. Um, very dope, man. Very clean, and then on the side, we get a larger shot of the artwork there. So again, very, very dope set. We're going to throw some of this stuff on the guy real quick. We're going to throw some of the accessories on. We're going to fully kit him out. Um, so... This does it should this go on first over the head scope? Let's see if we can get it over there. It has a little bit of flexibility here to go over, or should we just pop the head off first and then put the mask on? We'll see how that goes. Let's try that. Let's see if we do it like this. I took the head off and now I'm putting the mask on. About right there. Got like a little sub <laughs> sub zero scorpion kind of vibe going on. So that's okay. And then I popped it on there. So it's kind of sitting right at the back of the neck. So that's how I popped mine on. Um, let's put on these goggles right here. The ones that go over his eyes. And I put it on backwards. Oh, did I? No, look good. We're going to drop them down here. And forgive me, it's not super neat, but I just wanted to get the look going for him. You know what I mean? Get him kitted out. Um, does he have anywhere to tote his tongue for? We're going to put the side arm right there on the side. There we go. It doesn't look like he has anywhere to stow the tongue for, but there you have it. We want to be here for a good time, not a long time, so I'm just going to pose them up real quick. There we go. This has been a review for um, G.I. Joe Classified Series figure number 113, Mud and Junkyard. Uh, one of the del deluxe figures that comes with the companion. They did an amazing job on here. Uh, slight paint app issues on the kneecaps. Other than that, just a very solid figure. I'm looking forward to what the rest of 2024 is coming. Continue to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next review. Till then, peace.